In this video, we will be discussing the chi-squared distribution. A chi-squared distribution with k degrees of freedom is equivalent to summing standard norm the square of standard normal distribution, so one standard normal distribution squared, plus another standard normal distribution squared, up to the number of k number of normal distribution squared. So let's index this with 1, index this with 2, and then index this last standard normal squared with k. And so it's k many, summing k many normal distributions, each, each of which are squared. Now, just to show you how the distribution is formed, if we just pay attention to one standard normal distribution with mean 0, standard deviation 1. We're going to just draw a plot of that right here. And so notice we have both positive values to the right of 0 and negative values to the left. So what would squaring this distribution look like? So if we had, if we squared this distribution right here, what we would have is a distribution that takes the takes the negative value so much of the mass so there's greater mass towards the middle of the distribution so the part I'm highlighting right here this part would be transferred over to the positive side and so what this results in is a lot of mass being concentrated toward the lower positive half and so this distribution would look like this so do you see how the amount of mass in the squared version of the normal distribution a lot of mass is now transferred between 0 and 1 which reflects taking the negative part the negative part given right here and then simply transferring it over to the positive part all these values are being squared and a similar thing happens with the, the values below negative one these values are transferred over to the positive half and so then are transferred to right here so this is if we just were to square one standard normal distribution what the chi-square then does is it adds you know uh, these squared standard normal distributions together so one thing I want you to understand is the mean and the variance of a chi-square distribution using k the number of standard normals that you are summing and so the mean so for a chi-squared, for chi-squared distribution, distribution with k degrees of freedom, the mean is equal to k and the standard deviation is equal to the square root of 2k, 2 times k. And so for this distribution right here, so a chi-square root of 1 degree of freedom, because there's only one, um, one normal distribution being squared, we have the mean is equal to k, which is 1, equal to k equal to 1, and the standard deviation is equal to the square root of 2 times k which is equal to the square root of 2 times 1 which is equal to the square root of 2 which is equal to 1.41 approximately now notice that the mean so the mean is right here and the standard deviation is 1.41 and so notice that to the right of the mean so let's pretend this is 2 right here and then this is 3. You actually can go one so one standard deviation would be roughly so 1 plus 1.41 is right here. So this is one standard deviation to the right of the mean. 
Notice that you actually can't go one standard deviation to the left because that would put you uh, below zero because we only have one from zero to one is only one but you need to go 1.41 to the left and so all those values they just keep getting stacked on top of each other because you you're you're basically your lower bound is zero and so you'll see that when we go when we go with chi squared distributions with larger degrees of freedom you'll see how this distribution is able to expand to look more normal like and so I'm gonna just give you an example of so let's imagine a chi-squared distribution with three degrees of freedom so I'm gonna just put k is equal to three so we're gonna basically take a look at what that looks like so that is equal to So we have one, two. I'm going to expand the axis a little bit to make this easier to see. Let's pretend we have four here, two, six, eight, one, three. And so what a chi-squared distribution with three degrees of freedom looks like is it peaks at one, and then it simply just comes down like, comes down like this. Okay, and so we can, using our formula, the mean is equal to k and the standard deviation is equal to the square root of 2k, we know the mean of this distribution, so the mean is equal to 3, the standard deviation is equal to the square root of 2 times k, which is equal to the square root 2 times 3, is equal to the square root of 6, which is equal to 2.44. And so we are going to draw our mean. So our mean is 3. And then now notice the standard deviation is equal to 2.44. So 2.44 away from 3 in the positive direction would be 5 would be 5.44. And so one standard deviation away would be right here. And so that's one standard deviation to the right of the mean one standard deviation to the left of the mean is roughly 0.56 so this would be about one standard deviation to the left of the mean and the point being that we can we actually have enough values to go one standard deviation to the left that's why this distribution is more spread out and opposed to being concentrated um, like the chi-squared distribution of one degree of freedom opposed to being concentrated, all of the values having to be concentrated in a small interval. And so as you increase the degrees of freedom of a chi-squared distribution, it actually begins to look more and more like a normal distribution. And so I'm going to just So for a chi-squared distribution with k degrees of freedom, as k increases, the chi-squared distribution approaches normal distribution okay so I hope this video was helpful in helping you to understand the chi-squared distribution thanks for watching